Right, if f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 1, g of x equals negative 2x squared plus 5, and h of x equals 5x plus 4, let's do some work here. What would f of x plus h be? Well, what this means is we have to replace the x in the f function with an x plus h. So we have to be looking up here at the f of x function, which is right here. And we are going to replace everywhere we see an x with an x plus h. So instead of x squared, we'll have an x plus h squared minus 3. And then instead of an x, we'll write an x plus h. And then we have plus 1. Now remember, x plus h squared is not x squared plus h squared. x plus h squared means x plus h times x plus h, right? Now, we can go ahead and distribute our negative 3 to the x plus h here. So that it's negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times h would be negative 3h plus 1. But we still have to do this multiplication, x plus h times x plus h, and I'm going to do the FOIL method. x times x is x squared. The outer term, x times h, will be plus xh, and remember that means plus 1xh. The inner term, will be h times x. Now, what you have to remember, you can write that as h times x or x times h. I'm going to write it as x times h so it's clear these are like terms. And then the last will be h times h, which is x h squared. And then we finish writing the negative 3x, the minus 3h, and the plus 1. So the only thing left to do is combine like terms and the only like terms here are the xh. Remember, that's 1xh plus another 1xh. So our final answer will be x squared plus 2xh. Now, you can write hx or xh. That's up to you. Plus h squared minus 3x minus 3h plus 1. Well, that's it. All of that is f of x plus h. Let's go ahead and try g of x plus h. What would that equal? Well, that means we have to put in x plus h in place of x in the g function. So I've got negative 2, but instead of x, we're going to put in x plus h and square it, and then plus 5. So we have to do negative 2 times x plus h squared. Now, I want to remind you that over here on the left, when I did this previous problem, I did x plus h times x plus h, and I got x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared. So you could do that on your side work again, but I'm going to go ahead and just plug in what we know x plus h squared is from because I just happened to do it. So that's negative 2 times x squared plus, and remember, xh plus xh, that's really 2xh plus h squared. Right? So that is going to be negative 2 times everything in parentheses plus the 5. So we need to distribute negative 2 to negative to the x squared. It'll be negative 2x squared. And we're going to have a negative 4xh and negative 2h squared and plus 5. And then we see if there are any like terms, and there aren't any. How about this third one. Let's do h of, and I'm going to use another color so it doesn't run into this one here. But if we have, what is h of x plus h? I'm sorry. Yes, that's true. That is really confusing, right, that I used an h there. I think I'm going to change that just so it's a little bit less confusing. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to call the function k of x instead of h of x, because I don't want to confuse the function h with this letter h here. All right, so if we have k of x plus h, I'm going to replace the x in 5x plus 4 with an x plus h. So I have 5 times x plus h plus 4. And then we just have to do the distributive property here, 5x plus 5h plus 4, and that is k of x plus h. So this is how to compute, for instance, 
um, f of x plus h or g of x plus h or k of x plus h. Now let's say we wanted to compute f of x plus h minus f of x. Well, I've already computed f of x plus h, so that would be this x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 3x minus 3h plus 1. All of that is f of x plus h, right? And then I'm going to subtract what f of x is. Well, that's the original function up here top left. I'm going to subtract x squared minus 3x plus 1. Now, notice I have to put that in parentheses. So to finish this, I need to distribute that negative sign. So we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 3x minus 3h plus 1. And now I'm going to distribute minus x squared plus 3x minus 1. Last step would be to add the like terms. Well, x squared minus x squared is 0. Um, let's see, I've got a 2xh. There's no other like terms with that. And then I have, and I'm going to cross this off so you could see, you know, these, in other words, are going to go away. And also look at this. The negative 3x and the positive 3x goes away. The plus 1 and the negative 1. That's just so it's easy to see what's left. So what do I have? I have 2xh plus h squared minus 3h. And that's it. All right, how about doing k of x plus h? Oops, sorry. It's a little mistake there. So we're going to do k of, let's see, here we go, k of x plus h minus k of x. See if you could do that. So remember, Right here is where we had, that's equal to k of x plus h, right? So we're going to start with that, and then we're going to subtract k of x, which is right up here. So put the video on pause and try that on your own. All right, are you back? All right, so if we put in k of x plus h, that was the 5x plus 5h plus 4. And now we're subtracting k of x, put that in parentheses, 5x plus 4. And we need to distribute. So we have 5x plus 5h plus 4 minus 5x minus 4. You might notice a few things cancel out of here. I got 5x minus 5x. I got 4 minus 4. My final answer is just 5h. All right, let's do something else. How about if you want to do f of x minus g of x? So if we just want to do f of x minus g of x. No, we'll take f of x, which is way up here at the top, x squared minus 3x plus 1, and we're going to subtract g of x, which is negative 2x squared plus 5. That looks like a 7. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to erase that so it looks more like a parentheses. Oops. There we go. There we go. And now we're going to distribute our negative sign again. x squared minus 3x plus 1. And we're subtracting, so we change all the signs inside, plus 2x squared minus 5. So when all said and done, what do we have here? x squared plus 2x squared is 3x squared minus 3x. That's the only x term. And we have 1 minus 5, which is minus 4. So that is f of x minus g of x. And let's just do one last one. How about if I wanted to know what f of x plus h plus g of x plus h is? All right. So you have to look and see where we said f of x plus h, what that equals, what g of x plus h equals, and then you're going to add them together. So go ahead and put the video on pause and see if you can do it on your own. There you back. All right, f of x plus h is right up here. There it is. So we have x squared plus 2xh 
plus h squared minus 3x minus 3h plus 1. All of that is f of x plus h. And we're going to add g of x plus h, which is right here. So that's a minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus 5. All right, so wow. Running out of paper here, so now we're going to add all the like terms. So we have x squared and a minus 2x squared. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that's negative 1x squared, which we just write as negative x squared. We have a 2xh and a minus 4xh. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, so we have a negative 2xh. I have an h squared and a negative 2h squared. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We'll just write that as minus 1 or just negative h squared. Let's see, I have a negative 3x, and I don't see any other x terms, so we just write the negative 3x. I have a minus 3h. I don't see any other h terms, so we have a minus 3h. And I have this constant 1. And I have this constant 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. And we've already got the x term, the xh term, the h squared term. So you know what? That is it. So we're, how many problems did we do here? We did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 problems. So I hope this helps. My suggestion which is, would be to write what f of x, g of x, and k of x is on your own paper and try all these on your own. See if you get the same answers.